<laughs> what he um, what he probably meant was that he wanted Indians to start young, uh, so that uh, the habit of research uh, and exploration develops. Is that what he was trying to say? Yes, yes. So if we know they're curious, but now there's a system to nurture it and try and try to make sure that it doesn't it doesn't leave them as they approach adolescence and into adulthood because from why from where i stand uh, a, a full-grown scientist is still a kid right <laughs> they're just a kid that has more training to ask questions about the world another point i made and this is very important because we had to go through this in my own country okay uh throughout the space program we were in the mid the the apollo program we were in the middle of the civil rights movement, okay, where not everyone had equal access to opportunity. And so a point I made with the prime minister is, if you want the fullest participation in the country, you want to make sure it's not just the Hindus, but the Muslim children, where both Hindu have, have legacy. The, the Hindu traditions in, in science and mathematics go way back, so too, in Islam, the golden age of Islam, a millennium ago, where major advances in science and technology, and especially math. So now you have two legacies that can be brought together in the service of peace, where the science, where space exploration could be one of the greatest forces of peace the world has seen ever. So I have great hopes for the future of this as a plan for the, the Indian nation. Amazing. But I want to ask you, last time around you said that you loved every bit of the mission of Chandrayaan to not only the technological and scientific ambitions, but the cultural impact. What is this cultural impact that you talked about? Uh, oh, just in terms of uh, what effect it can have on a population. I and mean, we see it now in the, in the associated imagery that you have on this broadcast. And you know people were dancing in the streets. The, it is possible for a nation to take on a large goal, a goal where, where if it succeeds, everyone feels like they were a participant. And this could be very uplifting for a culture, for a nation, for the world. And so uh, I think these kinds of, uh, uh, this form of exploration, is maybe even unique because, uh, by the way, when you finally put in an astronaut into orbit, astronauts are some of the greatest ambassadors we've ever created as a civilization. Astronauts are welcomed everywhere. And p when they speak, we are silent because we want to hear what they have to say. They've seen Earth in ways no one else has seen Earth. They've seen it from above where national borders dissolve away. They see Earth as a planet. They have perspectives. So space is different from other forms of human exploration. And I used to think I was biased in saying that as an astrophysicist, but I'm not. And your video of people, as, as I say, dancing in the streets is testament to that. Absolutely. Uh, I, I also want to uh, ask you, uh, 